He has no problem with women being killed yes, curse if Prophet, they curse, curse the Prophet. Prophet Muhammad is a sin, great sin, yes. So you have no problem with yeah, women no problem. being killed? Curse Prophet Muhammad. Alright, so you're ISIS. I was going to explain where Muhammad compared the woman to the no, black no, no. dog no, no. and said when the things that disrupt the prayer are a donkey and, and a black, a little a black girl, dog. You agree that Moses said him to kill every woman? Make your statement, I'll respond. You agree or not? Make, Make your statement and I'll respond. You see, when there was dead dogs, human bodies menstrual and menstrual whatever in the well and your prophet said if you want me to bring out the head he said he said all water is clean was that from a command from allah or was that his own discretion Bro, you drunk, you drunk, you drunk, bro. And Listen, and because down, you also said, anyway, you said wait, about wait, wait, oppression. No, no, wait, wait, bro, bro, brother, Muslim. You see, is it okay to cause harm to women? No. no. What? Which? Is it okay to cause harm to women? No. No. What in the the Bible said? Go and kill a woman. But hold on, oh, hold oh, on, oh, in your hadith, oh, was a woman, a slave take woman yourself. killed take because she yourself. cursed your prophet, yes or no? You're a liar, you're a liar. Shall I read the hadith? Shall I read the hadith? Yeah, yeah. The hadith? The hadith? And his blood yeah. went on the child. Wait, 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 wait. Now what did your prophet say about that? You wait, see, wait, hypocrite, wait, let me read the hadith. He has wait, no problem wait. with a woman being killed because she cursed his prophet, but now he's crying over it, you see? Notice the hypocrisy. Shamsi, in the Bible says, Divert, don't Bible divert, says, don't divert, don't divert, don't divert, answer the question, in the Bible answer says, the question, in the do you Bible have a says, problem in the when the woman said, was killed cursing. for cursing your prophet? In the Bible said, is that, in the Bible do you have a problem with it? In the Bible you said, you want to go to the Bible, kill every woman that has slept with the man. Jamsie, what? Answer that, 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 that question, you don't believe in the Bible. Wait, wait, let me finish. He says it every week, let him finish. Answer the question, Shamsi. Do you have a problem with the slave woman that was killed for cursing your prophet and her blood was splattered over her child? In Do you have a problem with it? Look, look, you know, you want an answer. Christian, atheist. Another woman. You are engaging with me. Answer the question. She's speaking as well. I fully respect woman. Answer my question. But she's a woman. Respect her. Okay. Answer her, then answer me. No, in the Bible. Don't go to the Bible. The Bible is not going to help you. The Bible is not helping the Quran. The Bible is not helping you. Hypocrisy. Is it a sin to have a husband? No, it's not a sin to have a husband. It's not a sin to have a husband. Is it a sin to have a husband? In the Bible is a sin. Why? In the Bible says, go to every woman that has come to the man and keep the little one for yourself, the little girls. So what was her sin to be killed because she was married? Go put niqab. Niqab is a virtue, but for you it's embarrassment. Okay, if you speak, uh, ladies. Right, I went to all church things in school, yeah? That was okay. all my school. And I was only ever taught of my neighbour. I never taught nothing that I'm hearing you say. I, have, I was not taught none of that. Yeah? Okay, it's understandable. And, and that was for, from the age of uh, four to the age of 16. Yeah, I was only taught to respect. So everything you're saying, I've never heard before. No problem. Go numbers let, let, let thirty-one. Okay, yeah, yeah. numbers thirty-one seventeen. That's online. That's online. Okay, that's there's no such thing as online. No, no, I no. Wait, no I, sorry, sorry. Let, let, listen, on, I'll, I'll have no problem speaking to you. Yeah, person, I like you because you respect. You know? Do you have the Bible, by the way? Do I have it? Yeah, because she's asking for the Bible. You have a Bible. I don't have it, but she but she doesn't take online Bible. I I'm, I'm trying to find the hadith. Anyway, I'm trying to find it. Because we want to discuss that hadith. What are you shameful? Okay, okay. Anyway, I'm going to read out. Barakallah. We, we have the Bible, brother. Go Book of Numbers 3117. Now, no, kill all the boys and kill every woman who has slept with a man. But save for yourselves every girl who has never slept with a man. So, according to the Bible, it's a sin to have a husband and should be killed for it. Uh, numbers, okay? Do you know why I'm doing that? Let me explain to you. No, that's the new I will not speak James like this, version. but I'm that's showing the, the hypocrisy the of the Christian missionaries here. They come, they say, You're a prophet who is not a prophet because he fought against enemies. But in the Bible, it says, Kill your children, kill a baby, and they have no problem with it. So I'm showing the double standard. I know, listen, 
this country. Okay, 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 no, no. Okay. Yeah. I know all this is about hate. I know all this is about hate and divide. No, 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 no. Yes, yes. Shamsi, is it true? Shamsi, is it true? You see, he doesn't want to answer the question because he knows. Oh, now, you, now it's a waste of time because he knows that Hadith will go against him. He has no problem with women being killed yes, if they curse the Prophet. Prophet Muhammad is a sin, great sin, yes. So you have no problem with yeah, women no problem. being killed? All right, so you're ISIS. Oh. ISIS, no, yes. No, no, no. Because you have no, no problem no, no, no. with women no, no, being killed. No, 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 no. You see, hypocrisy. No, 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 no. Wait, yes. wait, wait, wait. No curse the Prophet Muhammad. In the Bible, the reason a woman should be killed because she's married. Take care of yourself. Okay, that's not what the Bible says. So you have no problem. Wait, wait. No, it's not Muhammad hypocrisy. All right. So you have. So, so you have no. And you didn't answer about Aisha being struck on her chest and causing her pain. Ah, yeah. Did she say it caused her pain? Excuse me. Answer my question. Yeah, yeah. Did Has key was green, uh, shall say. But doesn't mean that. Uh, the brother said that caused your pain. pain. So would you call, call your wife pain? pain. Yeah. Are you allowed to beat your, your wife? Can you beat your wife according to the Quran, Shamsi? Can you beat your wife, Shamsi, in the Quran? Sorry, excuse me. What would tell you? Look. No answer, no answer. Ah, King James, okay. My point here. No, my point here is, listen to me carefully. Can you beat your wife in the Quran, Shamsi? I don't like. I don't like people who come to the park and say your prophet was this and that, put your fingers, yeah? When they have a greater and a bigger problem in their own book. So when he said about Aisha, Prophet Muhammad, he said, he caused Aisha pain. I can do something like this to the brother and he feel pain, doesn't mean I hurt him in a way. So Prophet Muhammad, when Aisha was following him, Prophet Muhammad was to show her I'm asking questions. I didn't say I didn't like, I want to ask questions. Go away, innit? Go away, innit? You don't like to go away, bro. Don't tell me nothing, bro. Here, Aisha. So my point here is, now you look at the Bible, the Bible tells you to go kill a woman. And it tells you, you can kill, you can kill women if they insult the prophet. I'm well, I'm be your wife. Relax. 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 I'm be your wife. Relax. Relax. Well, I'm babies as well. Relax. I'm, I'm I don't need to relax. relax. I don't need. Hold well, on. for the sins of the ancestors. Wait, hold on. Let, me ask, well, let me ask you a question. Relax. Check yourself. Let me ask you a question. When he came to me last week, did you say anything to him? Just shut up. Don't tell me anything. Unless you went to say something to him last week, don't say anything. Let him answer, just relax, let him answer, innit? I haven't said anything, yeah. chill yourself. Is that cool? Oh, it has respect. Are you, are you mates now with, with respect? I go by the heart, I go by people, as people, yeah? Okay. Not by book, I know what I was taught growing up, and it's nothing that I've heard in this park to know. That's really the truth, yeah? I was taught to care about my neighbour, yeah? Treat how you're treated. Love your neighbour so as you love yourself. Absolutely. Yeah, but they don't teach you that in the Bible. Are you denying the verse? Are you denying the verse? Because she's denying kill a woman. Well. Kill a woman. You've asked me about this verse many times. They don't want to deny it. Oh, they want to ask me questions, but they don't want to ask answer. Where's the hadith you're going to find? You're false. You're going to find the hadith. What happened? Saying this and saying that. No, it's not about hate. I'm a clarifying the truth. We have. Oh, you're always going to find the truth. You must have become the truth. Are you allowed to be your wife? Why don't you go properly? Your religion. In Islam, I know you speak, yeah? In the oppression, but we have to understand also that we are here for a greater purpose. We have to know what we're here for, understand? Like sometimes, me as a person, I know there are certain things I cannot remove with my hand, okay? So what I'm, what I'm going to do, I'm going to do what I'm able to do. What I'm able to do to teach the people that in order for the whole humanity to unite, we have to unite according to the God, to the will of God. Not to your will or my will, okay? Because your will and my will are subjective. But the will of God is objective. So when you, and, and the best example, when the Prophet Muhammad came to the people, they used to kill each other, they used to bury their own daughters alive, they used to wage a war against each other for a camel, they, he came to them and they became brothers and sisters in religion. And they became what? 
they be civilized the most of the world. I'm speaking to her, bro. I don't want to speak to you, baby boy. Take care. I told you last week. I told you last week. I warned you last week. Hey, you beat up your wife, bro. It's in the Quran. I can't hear her. Hey, can you beat your wife? I'm going to the Quran. Are you married, by the way? Because he will kill you if you're married. What are you talking about? Because the Bible should kill her. The Quran says you can beat your wife. Exactly, the Quran says beat your wife. That's in the Bible. No, you're lying. It says beat your wife. Why? Strike her. Lightly, though, lightly. There's many lies. Thank you very much. You're the biggest liar here. You're the biggest fraud in the world, mate. Whenever you did it, and you created a video online, yeah? For and me? Or, or yeah, your, your team. Your team. Well, uh, my team, I'm not responsible for anyone. I speak for myself. Where? Where? Uh, yeah, well, let me do a quick one. What are you trying to achieve with this? So, so we see Shamsi. He brings up this verse about he plays the the killing women verse. He 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 goes on like he takes pity, but then when we asked him about when I tried to ask him one about did Aisha say the prophet calls her pain, he didn't want to answer. He he was skirting around it, and then when we see in the hadith, there's a hadith which I'll try and catch him out later on where there's a slave woman who's cursing Muhammad and the person kills her, that her blood goes all over her baby and then when the person is taken to the Prophet, he has nothing bad to say about it. So, and Shamsi admitted that he has no problem of women being killed if they uh, curse the Prophet. So look at this hypocrisy. In 2020, he has no problem with women being killed for cursing the Prophet. So we'll catch him up later on and we'll pin him down again. <laughs> In the house! <laughs>
to war, a thousand from each tribe, together with Finehas, the son of Eleazar the priest, with the vessels of the sanctuary and the trumpets for the alarm of his hand. We go to verse 7. They warred against Midian as the Lord commanded. As the Lord commanded. Moses and killed every male. They killed what? the king. Wait, wait, wait. Remember, he said, God said, take the women for yourself. Yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. All right. He said that. Don't get excited. I'm going to read from 7 again. They warred against Midian as the Lord commanded yes. Moses and killed every male. And? They killed the kings of the Midian with the rest of their slain, Evi, Rechem, Zer, Hur and Reba, the five kings of Midian. And they also killed Balaam, the son of Beor, with the sword. And the people of Israel took captive the women of Midian and their little ones. And they took as plunder all their you know cattle. Same passage? Yeah, I'm verse, this is verse 9. Same verse where, where, where verse is 9. No, it's not 9. Yeah, look, Numbers 31, verse 9. Ah. Numbers 31 verse 9. verse 9. No, it's not. No, no, no. Yeah, you said we're still going through it. We're still going through it. Oh, 31, yeah, 17. Yeah, yeah. 31, 17. So, yes, then at 10, it says, All their cities in the places where they lived and all their encampments they burned with fire. And they took all the spoil and all the plunder, both of man and beast. Then they brought the captives and the plunder and spoil to Moses and to Eleazar the priest and to the congregation of the people of Israel at the camp on the plains of Moab by the Jordan at Jericho. Moses and Eleazar the priest and all the chiefs of the congregation went to meet them outside the camp. And Moses was angry with the officers of the army, the commanders of thousands and the commanders of hundreds who had come from the service of war. Moses said to them, have you let all the women live? Behold, these on Balaam's advice caused the people of Israel to act treacherously against the Lord in the incident of Peor. And so the plague came amongst the congregation of the Lord. Now therefore, kill every male amongst the little ones and kill every woman who has known man by, by lying with him. So Shamsi has lied because he said the Lord has said, wait, I will continue. But let me make my point now. First we see now we see Shamsi has lied and said the Lord commanded him because they brought it to Moses and Moses was angry. All right. But the young girls who have not known man by lying with him keep a lie for yourself. In camp outside, in camp outside the camp seven days, whoever of you has killed any person and whoever has touch any slain purify yourselves and your captives on the third day and on the seventh you shall purify every garment and every article of skin all the works of goat's hair and every article of wood then Eleazar the priest this is 21 said to the men in the army who had gone to the battle this is the statute of the law that the Lord has commanded Moses. Moses, so that was all the Now, the now wait. Liar. Liar. Wait. Liar. Liar. Wait. Look at these people. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait. You see? Running away. Because these guys have been exposed as lies. Exposed. What was the statute? Wait, 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 wait. wait, wait, wait. What? Okay, no, no, let me ask you the question. What is the statute of the command of the Lord? Watch this. Tell us. The law of God was given to Moses. Now Moses, when he said, go and kill every woman. Yes. That step to the man yes. and, and keep the little one for yourself. At the end, what Israel said that was the law of God was given see, to the people. He doesn't even know what he's wait, talking wait, about wait, because wait, that's why we wait, never see wait, the word wait, of the Lord. Wait, we started wait, with wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait, wait. Let me make my statement and then you respond. No, no, no. Let me explain. No, no, it's my time. No, let me explain. Let me explain first. No, no, let me explain first and then you respond. No, it's my time. No, no, let me explain because this guy's a liar. Let me explain. He doesn't want to hear the answer. No, no, it's my time. He doesn't want to hear the answer. You didn't speak. No, it's Okay, let me finish. Okay, let me. And now, and now watch this. Yeah. Now when you read the whole context, yes. it's so clear that when you see Moses, you agree that Moses said him to kill every woman. Make your statement, I'll respond. You agree or not? Make, Make your, your statement, statement and I'll respond. You see? Oh, you know what no, no, no. I said, let me, let me explain. No, no, you said you want no, to speak, no, okay, you no, speak no, and I'll speak. No, okay. Now, God clearly telling Moses to go and revenge, take revenge from the modern night, yeah? Now, 
Midianites, yes, Midianites. Okay, Midianites, by the way, the Arabs. And clearly, the Bible against the Arabs always you kill their babies the and children. Why are you buying? I'm not, why buy because. Why are you buying? Why are you buying? Why are you buying? When you killed them in Spain, they came to us to save What's them. Wait, wait. He's known. Make your statement. Inquisition no, Court. Inquisition Court. Make him rope. Inquisition Court, who he supports. Okay? He's the truth. Anyway, my point here that when you read the whole context clearly, that was the commandment of God given to Moses. So now, either Moses, when he said, go kill every woman, step with a man that was from himself, not from God, and he's, uh, he's making up a law, or that law, based upon the context, was given to God. If you believe that commandment was wrong, then you have to show me where God rebuked Moses for killing women that step with a man, because Moses was the represent, the represent, uh, representative, representative. Uh, representative of God. So now my question to you clearly. No, let me Papa. respond. No, no, yeah, my question. I'll ask question. My question to you clearly. When Moses said, go kill every woman that stabbed with a man, was that a wrong commandment or a good, bad commandment or a good commandment? Now, when I started, I started on no, no, verse ask my one. Question, ask no, no, my no, question. no. You see, ask I said my question. I was going to explain. No, no, no. That's the young good video. No, 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 Chancy, Chancy, why, why you always do that, bro? You always heat and run. You ask a question and then you He's run. He's a waste of time. He doesn't want to listen. He doesn't want to listen. You're a coward. He doesn't want to listen. He doesn't speak. Yourself in front of everyone, and now you're running away. You embarrass me. I spoke to you many times. You don't answer. Is it good commandment or bad commandment? That's why. I'm gonna stop now. Is it good commandment or bad commandment? No, no. Let me respond. I said I was gonna respond. No, no. Is it good commandment or bad commandment? No, no, no. He can run away. I said I let him speak, and he said I can respond afterwards. Now I'm gonna respond. Okay, I'm gonna answer. If you now, believe, okay, because you don't answer my question. Let so me I'm respond. Away. I said I'm going to explain. Yes. So now I said in the first verse, God commanded Moses to wipe them all. That is why Moses was angry when they brought the people. Because so the was Lord, command, no, let, let me finish. That was not my let question. Me when Moses let, said, me let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. Because he, he's the one who finished. He's the one who finished. He's the one who finished. Where are you going, bro? Where are you going? Hey. I stopped. I stopped. I stopped. No, 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 wait, wait. He drunk. You clearly drunk. He stopped. No, that was not my question. Because he doesn't want to lie too much. Wait, because what Shamsi? Because Shamsi doesn't want the answer. But Shamsi, wait, wait. Let me, Shamsi. Wait, wait, wait. Be your wife according to the Quran, bro. Be your wife according to the Quran. Is it like me? Is it like me? Let me ask my question. Stop the killing babies. Stop killing babies. Stop killing babies. Stop killing babies. Stop killing babies. Come on, See? Let him run. Expose himself. You're a fraud like your religion, bro. Come on, With the verse that he picked. Clearly. He said that the Lord commanded Moses to do it. Yeah. But then when we read the verse, first verse, the Lord told him to wipe them all out. Yeah. And then when they brought the people to Moses, Moses was angry because they did not obey what had been said. So then reconsidering because Moses had the authority, then he told them, okay, wipe these people out and keep these people. This is why, and why people realize that we, we, we engage Shamsi in a different way. Come, come, if you want to explain how it was lost, how, you see, how, how? the minions, they don't have answers, no. but they, they, they no, repeat verbatim what Shamsi says. All right, go on. Now, now, clearly we saw Shamsi made a claim and I asked him, who commanded the women and children to be kept? He said, the Lord. That's why I read it from the beginning, because we said the Lord was saying, take vengeance and wipe them all out. So when the people were brought to Moses, Moses was angry. So if the Lord had commanded it, why was Moses angry? It clearly goes against Shamsi. And that's why he didn't want my answer. He just wanted me to answer his question because he clearly lied and got caught out on his lie. And the same thing happened last week about the pigs because he quiz misquoted the scripture. But then people wonder why people don't engage Shamsi in the way he does because as soon as you say something, he runs away. So then you have to pin him down and get him to answer first because that's why I was trying to give my explanation because I knew what he was going to do. But people said, all right, let him speak and then I'll speak. And he said, yeah, I will respond afterwards. But then he's trying to ask me 
questions and questions because what times he likes to do, do he asks he questions do but he never likes to answer even the question even the question you wanted me to ask him you asked him and he said no he will never even engage in a proper discussion so with shamsi it's theatrics yes or no answers and then run away and what i wanted to ask him as well maybe he's here next week maybe you can ask well you can ask him if you're you know because I, there was a, uh, a few weeks ago, I said to Shamsi, um, Happy New Year. And he says he doesn't acknowledge uh, yeah. the New Year because it was rooted in paganism. Yeah, okay. Now, I've noticed a hypocrisy about him because Shamsi is the roadrunner. But he, <laughs> and let, let me ask you this question. As a Muslim, can you wear a t-shirt with a cross on it? Wait, what's that with New Year's and the No, but just answer that question. It's, no, because it's a sign of kafur. Kafur, kafur. All right. Not kafur, but shit in it. Shit. All right. Yeah. Now, when, People, Nike. Yeah, ex Nike. yes. No, well, like, Shamsi wears no, Nike trainers. Wait, you respond. I know you're gonna say. Okay, go on. All right. Okay. As a Muslim, now you would not wear a t-shirt. I know, I know but let me. I'm gonna. Uh, you're gonna respond, but let me ask you the question for for the or, for the audience to to understand, and then you respond. So you you said that you would not wear a t-shirt with a cross in it. Now we know the Nike sign, and Nike is a Greek goddess of speed. So now, as a Muslim, are you allowed to wear night clothing, which is pagan clothing? Can I respond now? Yes. Okay. It's was mentioned that you can wear it on your feet because it's a sign of belittlement. You understand? Okay. Because the foot, you step on the ground with it. So their, their, their sign of worship, you put it on your foot and you walk with it. Like some signs, some night times, they are at the bottom of the foot on the sole. So if you're walking on it, it's like you're belittling it. But what about the sign on the on the it's on the, the on the side? Your foot gets sweaty after the day's walk. Yeah. What were you in Shamsi to What were you What was the conversation based on? Uh, the Midianites, um, Moses, yes. where they were instructed to um, keep the women for themselves. So let me just read a you few statements from your you from your prophet, and see if you agree. I uh, just because you're. Do, we'll do, see what do you, is that all sufficient? Yeah, so basically, uh, let me just see, gonna get some hadiths to see if you agree with uh, what your prophet said. So, according to Sharia, it is kafur, it's kafur to imitate the ways of the kafar, adopting their lifestyle. Yes, so uh, let me just find the hadith. So, because basically what I'm trying to establish is that clearly Nike is a pagan thing. So, you are you so would you wear a Nike t shirt then? So, just the trainers, exactly. Okay, for example, if I had so, for example, let me give an example. Yes, if I had socks, mm -hmm. socks on, on the sole of them, it yeah. says Jesus Christ. Yeah, what do you think? Would you wear them socks? You wouldn't wear those socks, would you? The sign of religion, right? Uh, exactly. so I wouldn't, you wouldn't say for that sense, yeah. Okay, would you at the bottom I wouldn't of your wear shoe, like much clothing with Christ on it anyway. At the bottom of your shoe, would you write Jesus Christ? And would you say that's a sign of a dawn? Yeah, but if your shoes has Nike on the side as well. No, but can you answer that first question that I said? Yes. As a sign of a dawn and a sign of beauty, would you put Jesus Christ on the sole of your shoe? No. Why not? Why? Because I don't, I, I, I don't put Christ on like but any, no, but any, but any of my like clothing. Hypothetically, hypothetically speaking, the sign of religion, correct? It is, because you wouldn't put the name of your God on the bottom of the shoe. You could say that. Okay, that way the scrolls, are, the scrolls have allowed some scholars. Okay. There's a sign of glitter to put it on your foot. Okay. And we are not allowed to wear it on like our upper garment. That makes sense. But what about the, the night side, sign is on the side, it's still a foot. but it's not underneath. It's still a foot. It's the lowest part of your body. It's still a foot. So, okay, let me just... So you're not happy with the answer, yeah? Is that what it is? Well, I'll bring up some hadith. So what scholars um, have agreed on this? Because obviously scholars have different opinions. Okay. That, and that's why I brought this up to Shamsi, because uh, there are some people who say Muslims shouldn't wear any night clothing. Okay, you know what you can do? You can bring that, yeah. you can bring that scholar who mentioned it. Yeah, and so, so if Shamsi's watching, this is what I'm going to ask him about next week, because we'll see. There's no need to respond to those minor issues, but you can go ahead and bring up the scholar's name. Yeah, well, I'll bring it up with him next no, week. Bring up, no, no, so, go ahead. Give, give me his one scholar. His one. Yeah, okay. So, actually, this is so. This is from this is from a mufti, actually. Mufti who? Mufti. Zakaria Makada. From? Saudi. Uh, let me see. 
This is Islam QA. Oh, please don't take my Okay, I've just bought this one up, but okay, let me get another one. Yeah. All right, let me go to Islam Islam Web. Uh, no, 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 okay, what about okay. Sheikh okay. Ibn Uthamin? Uth yes, yeah. yeah. do you accept him? Yeah. Not blind follow up, he's not blind follow up, but because now there's a text, then you accept him. Okay, so that's a scholar who is against. Read out his speech in Arabic. Uh, okay. Read in Arabic. No, no, no. Read in Arabic. Give him to read Arabic. Yeah, read out in Arabic. And and what about um, just one other thing? Uh, clothing with images on it as well. Yeah, we don't know. Would you would you classify the Nike logo as an image, or would you? No, we don't. That's not an image. It's just a swoosh, it's a just an image of a person. Like yeah, like a person. Yeah. Okay. Like an athlete. Like an athlete. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. We wouldn't want it. When, when Shamsi says, for example, like, um, okay, I don't accept that hadith because it's, what's the criteria you guys use? You know, to say, you know what, Sakhir Bukhari or Sakhir Musi? I know that the criteria is always going to say to me, if he goes against the Quran, they will, they will reject it. No, there's more, there's more to it than but, that. Yeah, exactly, but, yeah, yeah but this is a question. What do you think of Shamsi's debating tactics? Because so you're going to change from the whole night? No, but just on what he's saying, no, I'm going to get back to it. Well, yeah, why did yeah. you change from that one, though? It was not sufficient for you. No, no, I just want to... Uh, so it was a sufficient answer, yes? No. No, yes, it was. Okay, go ahead. Next. Yeah, I just want to yeah, ask. Go ahead. Because we did mention that earlier. Go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. So, what do you think of his tactics? You're asking me about what I think about ta Shamsi's tactics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Like, say, say, pretend you're, that you're not a Muslim for like. Do you think I he should stay Muslim, and engage? But the or thing is, yeah, I can't. I'm not one to be asked regarding his stuff, if that makes sense. But do you think it's fair what he does say? That when he asks a question, he affects Christianity. I'm not one to criticize, just, I'm not one to criticize my elder, if that makes sense. In knowledge, like his elder means I can't criticize him. No doubt if it was something that's openly wrong, you we are there to criticize it, but I don't see anything openly wrong from him. Okay. As for him discussing with uh, those he has discussed before, like he discussed it many times. It's not like a one-off. The same subjects he discusses all the time. Yeah, no, 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 but the thing is he discussed <laughs> he you many times, correct? Thing. Yes. And in the first the first time he discussed it, did he run away? Uh, the first time first time that I used to engage with Shamsi. And he left he, peace with like handshake and whatever, whatnot. Maybe the first two exactly. debates and of two or three. That, when a then after know, that when a person comes to know what a person's really upon, yes. if he's here to really learn sincerity from yes. sincerity. If he's not then he's, he's better off to walk away. Well, but then he approaches me half the time. And who approached you now? We were talking with the Hebrewites and you came, did you not? I was standing there and then he asked but me a question. Not? He came in though, did you not? No, but, but he, he asked me his there. question first. Yeah, 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 yeah. I didn't even that's, ask him that's, my that's question. You asked this question and he walked off. What's wrong with that? No, because he, the agreement. I didn't was even get a was, chance to answer yeah, it. Yeah, the, the agreement was, was there. Was, was there agreement yes. put in place yes. beforehand? No, but you even were yeah. there when I said, okay, Sham, I was going to answer. I said, let me give an explanation. Yeah. And he said, let me ask this question. So he Can asked this me, question. Yeah, there's no benefit in this discussion. If you want to speak up something else out of mind, there's no benefit in this. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, go ahead. So. so want to like highlight his. his yeah, yeah. But don't worry, that's yeah, fine. You can speak but, to him. He's not here to defend himself. So you can speak to him next time, inshallah. If he's here. Well, if he has to run away, then we'll. Then, then, then leave him. Yeah. If, he to, if he wants to walk away, then let him walk away. No so, we'll wrap up then. Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll, I'll bring that up to him next no, week, anyway. And I'll bring the. You're going to cut this up? Oh, what? What, 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 no. what we just spoke about? Are you going to cut it out? No, 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 no. I'm cut it don't need to. No, no, I don't need to. Are you going to? No. no I'm yeah? I have your word, yeah? Yeah, you can okay, watch it. Ahead. So, watch, watch. our videos, like Chelsea was, was telling that I edited the video. Yeah, and yeah. I told him I was. Because we want to. Yeah. I, that's what I told you. I never said that I edited the debate in such a way that I, I don't know. Go give it outro. Give it outro. Anyway, anyway, yeah, Rafa, Rafa. Yeah, so, well, I've kind of. <laughs> I, I, I pretty much said that all I had to say was that uh, we like clearly that. exposed Shamsi's hypocrisy in terms of. Wait, let you, so, <laughs> as we clearly saw, and you can even comment, he said the Lord instructed Moses to keep the women for themselves. And yes, that's what he said. And I asked him, I asked him twice before I read, because I knew, I, of course I know what he's talking about. I've read the whole chapter. The Bible says it, the Bible said it. No, no, he said God instructed Moses. He said God instructed Moses. He didn't say the Bible. He didn't say anything else. Okay, the Bible is the word of who? It doesn't matter. We're saying, because I'm, listen to what I'm saying. You, you say you're, what you're saying has no bearing of what we're say, what does. this discussion was. Related. Moses spoke to God and Moses said, take vengeance on the Midianites for what they had caused Israel to do. That was God's was command. That? How long ago was that? That incident? That was... That's years probably, back, yes? Like hundreds of no, years. No, that's a different, that's something different. Regardless, there was that, something that happened in the past, yes? No, 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 that's a different story. That's the Amalekites. No, no, this but is, even the one that was the Amalekites. About, the one you're speaking about now. 
that was that yeah what i'm talking about now wasn't 400 years before that, no that's the first that's first samuel keep going here yeah numbers, four. numbers is different yeah, this yeah. is Midianite. so shamsi clearly lied because he said the lord instructed moses and that's why i read from verse one and god gave the instruction to take vengeance on the, of him because what happened is that the Midianites caused the especially the women because the israelite men slept with them and led them into idolatry so god even punished the israelites with a plague destroyed them and then he said go and take vengeance on the in go and take vengeance for what they caused the israelites to do so that's why the, especially like the women so had, god punished them yes by destroying them and then he wants to punish them again a second time no. Yeah, because you said, let me, let, me, let me see if I understood correctly. I said the Israelites. You said, you said first of all, you put, sent a plague. On the Israelites. Yes. Yeah. And then secondly, again, after that, you sent. He said, go out. and wipe them out. So, so. A second time. A second time, yes? No. It's, like I said, the Israelites. Yeah. We can actually read the verse. No, no, no. I don't have, all much. right. Yeah. So, now God is saying, take vengeance on, the, on them properly. So clearly, the people brought the Israelite, sorry, the, the Midianites. They took the booty and whatever and brought it to Moses. And Moses was angry. Why? Because the Lord had told him just take vengeance and wipe them out. So Shamsi refuted himself because he said the Lord had instructed him. Unless we see the words where God said, go and take. Then Shamsi has lied on the Bible. Can I respond? Yes. Did that action get carried out regardless? Did what action? That action, what Shams was referring to. Did it get carried out? But it wasn't instructed by God. But did it get carried out? It got carried yes. out, but no, it wasn't like, by God. It's like me but saying wait, 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 to sorry, you... Let me, let me it's like it me saying... You can respond after finish. Yes. It got carried out. Yes. Was it rebuked? Was it rebuked? Yes. By who? By a higher authority. No. So that means it was acceptable then? But with the whole point is that no, no, he's... It was no, 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 no. But you see, okay. Moses is the leader of the Israelites. So okay. he does have as a leader yeah. to implement things. It's like me saying to I you, understand, understand, when, understand. Where, so would you say Allah authorized the 700 Quraysh to be killed? The 700 Quraysh to be killed? Yeah, when they were killed. By who? Um, so the Jews, the what Jews, was it? Yeah, the um, okay, the Jews. Banner Quraysh. Would Muhammad. you say Allah instructed uh, uh, Muhammad to kill and them? Way. And the way no, Jews not surrender, by the way. Yes. First, of all, first of all, you run away from what we were speaking no, about. No, no, I, I'm it's, I'm got, it's the same thing. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. I'm, Secondly, I'm get, that, I, was just, that was justice. But what did Allah instruct it? No, no. Let me tell you what happened. Yeah. Because the Jews themselves, no, no, Allah did not say. Exactly. So that's, I'm highlighting your hypocrisy. Why? Because Muhammad used his own discretion. No, Muhammad didn't say anything in that regard. Because they well, said, what, what punishment do you want? And then they Muhammad chose... didn't say anything. Okay, tell us what happened. It was from their tribe, Yes. The, Korea, the, the, the Jews that you're referring to. Yes. They said that we, we do not want, we want to choose someone from among your men to choose the punishment for us. Who did they say it to? They chose someone that they knew, they were familiar who, with. Who, I, think, who, yeah. I think his name was, I forgot. But who person. allowed it? Can Sorry? anything happen without the permission of Muhammad? No. Muhammad, yeah, first of all, okay. Muhammad allowed it. With, thank you. Ah, no, okay, well, let me finish. You. Yes. Let me finish. Thank he you. allowed the, what the Jews said. Yes. With, with him not knowing what's going to happen. So uh, yeah, but that's wait, my whole finish, point. It could have been possible the guy could have said, you know what, let them all go. It's yeah, possible, correct? Right, that, that's you. irrelevant. My whole no, point can is... Finish? Can I finish? Okay. It's possible the guy could have said, or uh, the guy from the, from yeah, the, from the companions what could it, have said, it, yes, let that them all go. That's not my so point. Didn't know that he my point, point exactly. Yeah. My point is the authority was Muhammad was there, but he did not get a revelation yeah, from God to do this. So you've said, no, Muhammad was there. And I'm saying the same situation with Moses. God did not give him a direct revelation to say, go and keep the women for yourself. Well, you're so you're making... Well, you're saying he's wrong, correct? It's what wrong? The, the action of keeping the woman for himself is wrong. I'm saying when they brought it, Moses was angry because they hadn't listened to his command. Okay. Then he used his leadership discretion to yeah. say, okay, wipe out these people and keep the, the, the women for yourself. So he did say but, that. My point is, let me finish. The point, my point wait, let me make my point. The point is, if you say that God instructed you to yeah. do something, then you have to show the words where God said do it. Okay. Not that you're using your authority. That's okay. why I asked you, did Allah command that situation to happen in terms of... Okay, but you said... I'll respond, I'll respond. Okay. It's impossible for the authority of the messenger to oppose the authority of God. Unless if it does happen, so then did, God will correct it. So did, did, Allah, did Allah command it? Let me respond. Let me, All right, let me finish. Yeah. If in the case it does, like the messenger does oppose and it's something that God has revealed, then not revolt, so like he, he makes a decision and it opposes what God wanted. God but the point him. is, did Allah God command it? Him, yes or no? Yeah, but did, well, let me I'm finish. Ask... Let me finish. God correct him, yes or no? You, no, yeah. no, you missed the point. I'll get to it. Go to correct him, correct? No, that's not yes, my question. Did Allah command no him? Yes. Did no Allah command? Did him. Allah command him? Yes or no? Is this Muhammad in that situation? To do what? To kill the man who Yeah. Muhammad didn't kill him though. 
Okay. okay so, what now? so he didn't command him? Didn't command no, Muhammad didn't command it. All right. Did Allah command him not to say anything? Did the God of the Bible... No, no, no. No, no. Wait, wait, wait. Yes or no? Let, wait. Did he rebuke yeah. Moses? Let, 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 let's, 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 like just, let's go no, no, step no, no, by step. Like him, like him. Did, did Allah command yeah. Moses, um, Muhammad not to say anything? Did who? Did Allah yeah. command uh, Muhammad yeah. not to say anything? Did God come Don't answer Moses. from the Quran Don't tell first. You, you, answer. you see? You now you, I'll ask you, you first though. No, 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 no. He because he what I'm trying to do. No, no, no. Because I'm trying to highlight your double standards. You can't say if there's two authorities in two different situations. No, it's not two authorities. Moses was an authority and Muhammad is an authority. No, no, no. Is Muhammad an authority? Listen, listen to what I'm saying. But he's authority. Okay, I'm going to answer. Listen, you're going, you're, 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 authority does not oppose God's authority. Listen to what I said. I that said you sense. have two situations with two authorities oh, okay, present. Okay, go ahead. I yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. Now, I'm saying in both situations, <laughs> God did not say directly to these people yeah. to do a certain action. Okay. Yeah. So they both, in that in instant, used their uh, discretion how to react or respond to that situation. So therefore, if you agree that Allah did not command Moses, um, Muhammad, to engage with that situation where he left it up to mm -hmm. them to choose their um, their outcome, in the same way, you have to play that same logic to Moses, Moses. that God did not That's say give him That's a direct I'll you revelation. Why, I'll tell you why Allah was pleased with that. I'll tell you why Allah was pleased with Muhammad's decision, okay? But, I'll tell wait, you why, wait, let me finish. Wait, wait, wait. wait, 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 wait. Yeah, I've got the point. Yeah, got but the, got the point. yeah, but the whole point is, regardless of whether they're pleased or not, that's the secondary issue. That's not the secondary Shamsi's issue. claim was because that Allah God... Allah allowed wait, to be happened. The point, that's a straw man. It's not. I'm telling you why. The Shamsi said God commanded him. Okay. So if he didn't... Moses... To say this thing, okay. if he didn't command him, regardless of whether God agrees with it or disagrees, Shamsi has lied because God didn't command it. Mm -hmm. What you're trying to do now is a straw man because we're not saying whether God was allowed it or not to happen. That's a completely different point. Okay. But my point was, Shamsi likes to misquote the Bible and put things in, and then all the Muslims around him start cheering <laughs> like he's made a point, but he's actually not made a point. So you going into the, a secondary point is not the original point. It's no, called a straw man. No, yes. Okay. Now, when uh, when when the judgment took place and the Jews were killed, all right, or before they were killed actually, okay, the prophet responded saying, "What? What did he say? Allah would not have been pleased with anything other than what you have mentioned." Okay. So Allah was pleased with his judgment. Okay. So he did not oppose Allah. Now but, let me respond. Now, let me finish. Let me finish. Allah did not oppose his judgment. Whereas with regards to you, your your side, God did not want that to happen, yes? Because Moses is angry, let me finish. Moses is angry with it. There was no rebuke that took place whatsoever. Whereas on our side, Allah and his message were pleased with the judgment. Mm -hmm. Your one, there was no rebuke even though they were upset yeah, with the judgment. But, so but listen, because God said take vengeance, right? By keeping the girls for yourself, yes? Did God say that? that? But he didn't rebuke it, that's my point. He didn't that, rebuke that, it. You're, you're going back to your straw man yeah, point. That's not a straw man point. Yes, it is. No, because, because listen, like okay. All right, let me, let me, God said take vengeance. Yeah. What did God mean by when he said take vengeance? It's a general statement. Thank you. So that's therefore, right. now Moses has some discretion. Yeah. That's why, but he wanted them to be wiped out. Because okay. that's why when he brought it, he was angry. So then therefore he used his discretion when they brought the people and said, okay, wipe these people and, and spare the, the, yes. the, the young yeah, females. Yeah. So he has authority because he is the leader of Israel. That's the whole point. I understand, so, I understand that. I understand yeah, so what, what you're saying no, is... A it's, point, I think, yeah. it's like me saying to this, and I'll even expose the double standard more. When your prophets stood in a, a well, with menstruation. Are you that desperate? Ah, no, 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 but let, no, no, but let me, um, no, no, because point, I'm going to... It's not the same point. I, no, it's going to... Let me... No, no, no. no. Now, when he said all water is clean, was that from Allah or was that from his own uh, discretion? Was that revelation when he said, when there was dead dogs, human bodies and menstrual whatever in the well and your prophet said, if you want me to bring out the hadith, he said, he said all water is clean. Was that from a command from Allah or was that his own discretion? Okay. Are you going to let me respond? Yeah, of course. Yeah, in totality, yes? Okay. So what did you take from the hadith? You took from the hadith that all water is clean no matter what, yes? According to the prophet. That calls into your prophet. Okay. Now, this is why you have to take hadiths as you claim, we have to take the Bible in context mm. and the whole chapters. Mm. You have to take hadith as they've come in their own verb, in their own chapters. So now, if you check the uh, uh, chapter of the of, of uh, Tahara of purity, you will see many many hadith regarding purity of water and, and etc. etc. And the scholars they have mentioned that certain amount of impurity can make water impure and, and this amount and etc. etc. Like for example, the, book, the hadith you're referring to is from the book of Bulugh al Maram. I know about it. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, it's from the scholar. Uh, obviously, you can't read Arabic, so you're reading a San Ani one. Yeah, a what? San Ani, the scholar Ismaili bin San Ani. That's the one you're reading. 
Ah, uh, yes, it is. Hadith. Anyway, yeah, yeah. in the footnotes, if you see, okay. if you read the footnotes, it would mention that according to these scholars, like Umar ibn Khattab and his son, okay. uh, Abdullah ibn Umar and etc. etc. Et and okay. Aisha and Mujahid, whoever, all of these have agreed over a certain stance, and the other have agreed with this, this stance. You understand? And they've mentioned that water can be impurified after this and this and this okay. place. Like for example, the changing of color or the changing of smell. So, so, makes it impure. so what you've told me yes. is that your prophet has said something yeah. and other people have corrected him. Because no, you said the scholars... Wait, 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 wait. You, okay, unless yes. you can bring the hadith yeah. to demonstrate. Because you okay. said the scholars have uh, agreed and said that if the color changes, yes. because what we know is the scholars had to correct that statement. No, because the hadith mentioned it itself. Bring up the hadith. Oh, my phone's dead. That's why bring your phone. Bring your okay. Phone, bring your phone. You find the source because yeah, the hadith does not say if the water changes and color. And if it does say it, then what? Then you've proved your point. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. And you're wrong? And you're, you look how hard it is when you say he's wrong. Yeah, if, if and you're wrong, wrong, yes? If we're wrong, we're wrong. Then I'm wrong. Okay. Now, like, you, no, no, you okay. fight. Wrong. Look wherever you want. It's not about winning. Exactly. We don't ask yes or no questions and run away like Shamsi. We actually give you time to talk. No, you run away. You run away. You run away through your speech. What did I say? I'm giving, I'm giving you an opportunity to find a hadith for whatever you want because we clearly had now, now we'll see whether that was given from divine revelation or it was you know, you based on it, you want to accept it no oh, find oh, a hadith it's not about accepting it it's about have you ever seen a caravan speak as much as him have you ever seen it <laughs> wow that's shocking behavior man. Just... <laughs> yeah and the reason why I'm highlighting this is what kind, because what kind of phone is this one <laughs> what no HTML <laughs> Because it, yeah, it would be very strange if your prophet said that and then the scholars had to correct him. Because no, then we'll don't say. Don't mention that word. The scholars had to correct him. Well, it's not a correction. It's not of a correction. course, if if the, if your prophet, it's not a correction. listen to what I'm saying. If your prophet did not say himself, if the water changes colours, then the scholars say it. The scholars did not do not receive divine revelation. Only your prophet did. So then we have to say, did, was that a command of Allah? And if that's a command of Allah, according to your criteria, says, says, no, no, because you said, wait, let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. Wait, but let me finish. Because you said when Moses commanded something, and you gave the situation for Muhammad, Allah agreed with it. So therefore, if your prophet said that. Yeah. And no, he hasn't said anything to uh, expand on it. Yeah. Then we have to say that Allah agreed that all water is pure, okay. and we can't accept those scholars because the scholars do not receive divine revelation. Okay, in the hadith it says, I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm bringing it, but I'm, I'm going to say okay. in the hadith the prophet says, "Al ulama al anbiya," meaning the the scholars, they yeah. are the inheritors of the prophets. The scholars the are the inheritance. So now you're appealing to the scholars for them to correct what no, your prophet said. No, what does that mean? You're not understanding what, my point. What, what, okay, go my on. point is you said that inheritance. Do you know what inheritance means? You inherit. 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 Yeah. yeah. So Anyways, no, but the, the scholars, scholars they, they, the prophets do not, do not leave behind money or property. They leave behind knowledge. Okay. Yes, and the, and the scholars they inherit this knowledge. Okay. So for, they are there to interpret or to give uh, interpretation uh, of okay. the hadith. Okay. So you anyway, they interpret. Yeah, it's a Samsung phone. Doesn't have this in this country anyway. Ah, okay, so the scholars have inherited the knowledge of the Yeah, people. I don't know how they would have inherited the knowledge because they only come from Sahih chains. So we will need to see a Sahih chain of this knowledge. You just answered your own question in one statement. Why? You don't know how the knowledge comes down, but it comes down through chains. You just answered your question. Well, I'm saying the outside knowledge. If it's not found in a Sahih hadith, then we yeah. have to ask where did they well, get this knowledge? We have knowledge something from? called Istiqra, yeah? We have something it's called Istiqra. Okay. Yeah? Istiqra is the knowledge that comes from the scholars. Okay. Yeah? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
when it smell, taste, or odor is changed by uh, an ajasha, an, imp an impurity, which okay. affects it. All right. Do you accept this hadith? You haven't given me the classification. Okay. How can I accept it? We read that we want to see it's authentic. No, but the fact that it says that through his chain of narrators, it means that it's authentic. Well, Have you studied the science of hadith? How can you tell me no? Well, the, so camera, the, the one the before, camera. yeah, we'll Show put the, the link on. Yeah, we don't need to. Yeah. So the one before. It was weak, it was weak, yeah. Where does it say? There, but right, declared yeah, weak. Right, yeah. So, if so Imam uh, reported Behaki, through Behaki. his chain. Okay. So it doesn't say. It doesn't look. Water so it's is pure unless it's smelt. What about inheriting knowledge? Oh, that's different hadith. I can bring that up as well. Okay. Yeah, that's different hadith, right. yeah. So this is about the, the, the smell and the, the kind of the, the water. water. Yeah, yeah. So... Do you accept it? No, because is it doesn't... No, I'm going to... Listen, I'm going to... Like the next one, the next one, it says... Uh, Abdullah ibn Umar narrated that Allah's messenger said any amount of water that is sufficient to fill two pitchers is not easily contaminated by impurity so it can be and contaminated. another narration says it does not become impure mm -hmm. uh, this way uh, related by the four imams yes. ibn Kuzama al graded as Sahih. Yeah. So now the one you gave doesn't even say what it is. What is. That's why I said I don't accept but it. Because this why. one, yeah, but this one, the one before said Sahih. Okay, oh, get the next the, one then. The one, get the next hadith. Okay. This, this is whole and wait, wait, wait. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Uh, yeah, we'll go to the next one. Yeah. But remember, and it says another narration says it does not become impure and it's graded as Sahih. Either we have a contradiction, we okay. need to research okay, no into these no hadiths. No yeah. So you can do your homework and come back next week, yeah? Yeah, we can do it. And you have to do it because you have to bring the, the, the one that's like authentic as well to prove your case. I've just, given you, I've just given you... That doesn't say it's authentic. The thing is, for you, you haven't studied... Exactly. Anyways, you haven't studied Ilmi Rajal yet, so you don't know about this stuff. If I, wherever I throw it, you're not going to accept it. If it says authentic, like the two if that someone says, read. When someone says Bukhari narrates this through his chain of narrators, it means it's authentic. Well, let, me, let, me, let me just follow this. All I right. think so, by the way. I don't want to get wrong on the camera. All right. And that's if it's wrong, I'll think about it. Like, None of you should wash stagnant water when he's in Junoba, okay, no problem. None of you should wash it, okay. I, no, I just want one way it says it's Sahih, then yeah, you've I mean, made your point. Yeah, yeah. pretty much. Yeah. That's, that's, that's a because we know only Bukhari and Muslim are all you know what, yeah. authentic, you know what, whereas everything else yeah, may be depending yeah, on which person yeah, is uh, looking at it. So you can't say just because it's from this person, it's yeah. automatically authentic because only yeah, Bukhari and Muslim no, it is, it is, are... It is. When they mention that through his chain of narrators, that means that his chain of narrators are well known to be established to be authentic. That's what it means. That's why they said in brackets through his chain of narrators. Well, it seems funny that the other ones, the other ones don't have conf it. exactly. confirm it's weak or exactly, sahih. Exactly. But when they say, for example, uh, the wording of Bukhari through his chain of narrators, okay. it means that it's well known. Like They're known among the, uh, the muhaddithun that is known what chain of narrators they're referring to. Does that make sense? Well, we'll, we'll look into it and um, we'll, we'll come back next week. Water is, water is tahir, except when it's colour, except when it's smell, taste or odour is changed by an, an impurity, a major impurity which affects it. Okay? That is the one by Imam al-Bayhiki through his chain of narrators, yeah? Now, you know what we'll do? We'll copy and paste it mm -hmm. to sunnah.com because they had the reference there, yeah? Okay. Yeah. You want to do it? My hands are forcing it. Copy the Arabic because the English oh, one Oh, it's come PDF, up so I don't think you can. Oh, you, you Copy the Arabic, can. the Arabic will come up. The English won't come up. Copy the Arabic. Okay, you yeah, can. The Arabic will come up. All right, so we need to um, yeah, last one. I'm going to show that. You. Okay, cool. And so, so what by the way, you run away from your point of Moses and that. I made the point you know, and oh, the point very clear. You made. No, you know. The fact of the matter is that because you, the matter you is that you have double standards. Double no, standards. No, but you've clear. You've clear. This is why Shams is very low. Double standards. No, that was sanctioned. Okay. He did, he did, he did. I'm gonna uh, we'll go, I'm gonna address it very not right now. No, no, no. Right. Go, go to the hadith. You see, I thought you, I was avoiding it. I'm gonna bring it up. So I'm gonna No, no, no. No, no, no. no we're gonna see? Yeah, we're, we're gonna go to both. We're not running away. We're not no no no. Let's I'm gonna go to it. I'm, I'm not rushing anywhere. Anyway. Yeah? I don't need to. You see? I'm gonna get it out. Water has started. No, I'm gonna go to it. I've got no I'm not shamsy. But my point is because you said we hadn't concluded that point so I'm going to conclude it now did God say to Moses keep yes. the women uh, young women children for yourself yes question. or no that's a fair question should I be honest yeah yes, yes. Be honest. I don't know about much about the Bible but okay mm -hmm. God. is that not honest enough for you yeah go on okay now there is there is the passage in the Bible where it says keep the woman for yourself so who said that Keep the answer my question. That is the answer you're the answering question. with you can't. If you're answering says, a question. Keep the girl you're girl answering a question girl. with a girl. question. Girl. I said no, to you. I said yes or no. Bro, Did God say to Moses, 
keep the Why women. Why are you be boxing? Be, yeah, please be fair. Say if you want to be, be yeah. come across as sincere. sincere yeah, the question yeah, is yeah, very yeah. simple. Did God did God say to Moses, yeah. keep the women, yeah. children for yourself? Okay. Yes or no? Now, Oscar, while well, I finish, okay? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. The word, the Bible is the word of God. In the Bible, it says, keep the little girls for yourself. That Gymnastics. word is from God. Again, I'm going to ask see, you. Oh, see, this, I'm going to ask you. You're, 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 you're now. This is why we're going to keep because you're, you're like you're embarrassing yourself. Is it? Because I'm asking you a sin simple question. Yeah. When I I read from verse one to yeah. verse seventeen, yeah, yeah. the question is very simple. Did God say to Moses, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's the question. Keep, the, keep, keep the young, young virgin. uh, no, virgins for yourself? No, no. I just want a yes or no. God. Did God say it? Yes or no? How can I say yes or no? Do you want me to read the passage again? And you want me to straight away make a judgment on it based on it? Yes. I'm not that well versed in the Bible. so I'm going to read it and then you're going to tell me whether first God all, said, hadith, you see, first listen, first, to, yeah. listen, I'm going to read the verse yeah, yeah. The, yeah, yeah. from 1 to 17. Yeah, yeah. And then you, you're going to tell me whether you heard the word where it said, God said to Moses, yeah, keep the, the virgins. young virgins you know, for yourself. You know when we're speaking down there, what, what many times you mentioned, in that verse was reading, mm -hmm. and the Lord commanded Moses, and the Lord commanded, and the Lord commanded. Do you want me to read it for you? No, I don't hear 17 verses, but I, I heard it when you were down there. And the Lord commanded, and the Lord but commanded, the, and the Lord commanded. Yes. So what does that mean? Yeah, the God did not command it to keep the God, God, God commanded it. Yes, yes, God commanded it. That's, point. that's my answer. God okay. commanded it. So that, that's my answer there. That's my answer. You happy? Ah, so you see, that's we my see the takia. Yeah, yeah. Takia. What's that? That's <laughs> my answer. That's my answer. Where, takia. Which verse did God command it? Yeah, yeah. The verse that you read out over there in Numbers. Which verse? Which what verse? verse one? Shall I read no, verse 30, one? Thirty something, I think. Thirty-three or thirty-one. I okay, think. let's go to thirty-one. So you're gonna skip the hadith. What no, is, we're gonna go. This. We're gonna. We're not oh, going anywhere. We're the point. You were addressing the point. By the way, yeah. Before you say I'm running away, I'm gonna go in five minutes. Yeah. All right. Okay. If you don't mind. Yeah, that's fine. No problem. Five we'll do this yeah. and we'll go to the hadith. <laughs> yeah. So now. This is embarrassing for you to be honest, you know. It's embarrassing for yourself. No, but and I'm not well versed in the Bible, so it's not embarrassing. You don't need to be well versed because I'm gonna read it for you. Okay, go in embarrassment. All right. Embarrass yourself. So now, Bismillah. Oh, pay for How many times okay. you run away? So, 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 so run I'm going to read. I'm going to read from verse four. I'm going to read. I'm going to read from verse. I'm going to read verse one and then jump to fourteen. The Lord spoke to Moses, saying, "Avenge the people of Israel." The Lord said to who? Moses. To Moses. The Lord said yes. Yeah. The Lord said it. All right. The Lord said to Moses, "Avenge the people of Israel on the Midianites. Afterward, you shall be gathered to your people." So what did you get from that? That the Lord commanded it. Commanded what? Commanded Whatever he said. Come Where? On. The Lord said avenge the people. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. So the Lord the Lord commanded it. Commanded yeah. what? To avenge the people. Yes. Okay. Did he say anything about young virgins? So you're gonna read just that one little snippet and that's I'm gonna con I'm asking you first. This is the first verse God so what spoken. So what stopped you from continuing? I'm gonna continue, but so continue. in this first verse, tell the Holy Spirit to take a break. In this first verse, you see, in this the Holy Spirit in this first verse, yes or no? Did God say yes, keep God the virgins it. for yourself? Of course not. It's the first, it's the first right, verse thank only. You. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now you're gonna skip all to the end because I'm gonna go to the relevant part. Yeah, go to go to the shafts. Now I'm gonna go to verse fourteen. 14. Alright. Now go no, to 17. Verse, go to 17. Yeah, 17, 17. Yeah, 17. well, 14 to 17. I don't want to get a headache. Just go yeah. to 17. No, no, no. We'll read the context as you said. We have to read the context. That's what you said, though. That's what you said. You read as chapters well. upon chapters. It comes to now, that's that what reading. I'm going to read from 13 to 17. Go on, crack it. Moses and Eleazar, the priests, and all the chiefs of the congregation went to meet them outside the camp. And Moses was angry with the officers of the army, the commanders of thousands and the commanders of hundreds who had come from service in the war. Moses said to them, have you let all the women live? Behold, these on Balaam's advice caused the people of Israel to act treacherously against the Lord in the incident of Peor. Against the Lord. And so, there you go. Go on, carry on. Continue. continue. And so the plague came amongst the congregation of the Lord. What do you understand okay, from that now, verse? When, when Moses asked them, I'm actually inquiring, okay? Mm. When Moses asked them, did you spread the women? What mm -hmm. did they respond? Well, what? you could see them. He didn't, they didn't respond. They he, didn't respond? So no. why did God send the plague? Honestly, I'm actually, I'm actually that's genuinely that's asking them. Genuinely genuinely jumping asking. Topic yeah. Yeah. No, that's part of the plague. You just mentioned the plague. You're talking about who This crackhead, tell him, come down. I'm too speedy. Let, let, let me, okay, I'm going to read it. I know exactly. I'm going to read it again go ahead, go and pay attention. Just that bit, yeah? Moses yeah. said to them, yeah. Have you let all the women live? Yes. Behold, these on Balaam's advice caused the people of Israel to act treacherously against the Lord in the incident of Peor. Okay, now, and so the plague came amongst the congregation of okay, the now, Lord. I don't know, yeah. Can you tell me what the act of treachery was? What was it? That they slept with the women and the women led them into idolatry. Okay, so basically that was against the command, yeah? 
Well, you're not supposed to do those sort of things, idolatries idolatry, against the. Yeah. Uh, so I was against Moses. Come on, yes. Well, the the Torah. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. yeah. So the Moses laws of angry Moses. with it, and then God sent down a plague. If I'm understanding correctly, yes. No, no, no. Okay. that the incident happened first. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. And God sent a plague. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Yes. So and and then uh, God instructed yeah. Moses to go and. No, but like, yeah. So Moses said to him, "Have you spared them?" And they replied, obviously, in the affirmative, because all of them was asleep with them. Yes. Well, they didn't say anything, but we know what happened yeah, in the incident. Yeah, so they spared them and they slept with them, basically, instead. That's, that's, that's jumping now. Yeah, no, you just listen to what I'm saying to you. Jumping, bro. The story is, yes. and you're, you're, it's very clear. That no, your he's, 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 no, no, I'm listen to what I'm saying. Okay, understand. okay. Let's, let's say, say let's let, 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 let me give you an example. Let me ask one more time, please. Give yeah? one example. Yes. And let me finish so you can, I'm actually trying to understand the case. So Moses asked them, and let me finish, please, yeah? All right. Moses asked them, did you spare the woman? Yes, and they didn't reply at all. Meaning, well, let me finish, yeah? He said, so basically what was, what was what's intended here is that they slept with them without doing anything of them. I'm correcting you. No, you're not correcting anything because exactly what Shantou was saying. Listen to what I'm them. saying. You don't, like you said, you have no understanding of the Bible, so no, I'm explaining. Saying, you have no understanding of the Hadith. I'm, that's, had, yeah, forget about the Hadith. Forget the Bible. Now, the incident we're talking about is that previously the Israelites had slept with the women of Midianite, the Midianites, and they had led them into idolatry. So now this is happening after the initial oh, okay. incident. That's what you say. Yes. Speak more clearly. Do you get the chronology? No, I get it. All okay. right. Thank you very so much. So now the people have brought the people to Moses. Yes. And Moses, in shock, has said, you have allowed these women to live because obviously he can see them. So he wants them to kill them, basically, yes? Yes. Yes. Oh, wow. Anyway, go on. All right. Wow. Don't say wow. I'm saying because wow. Wow. You have That's no wow. problem of a wow. slave. You have wow. no problem. Wow. 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 Okay. Wow. Do you have a Do you have a problem wow. with a slave woman being killed because she blasphemed your prophet and her blood was spilled okay. on her okay. child? Okay. Okay. You have a problem with that? I'll respond to that. All right. I'll respond to that if you respond to what I said. Yeah. Yeah. We'll, we'll. Come. Come. Yeah. Respond. Respond first. Respond, respond to what? You jumped and jump and jump. Where is that? Yeah. So and then we'll go to. Okay. We'll ask. Yeah. You confirm yeah. after. So then. And then, now verse, verse, verse 17, now therefore kill every, every... Are you, are you explaining him when your God call a woman a dog? No, he's saying when no. Said, what, what you explaining to him? Take the little I, was gonna, I was going to explain where Muhammad compared God, the woman to the no, black no, no. dog no, no. and said when the things God that disrupt the prayer are a and donkey God, and a black, a little a black girl, dog are you explaining that? Are you explaining that? Are you I'm telling him when about God, he was you a are instructed to kill are lizards, are you to kill lizards are you in 2020. Are you that? You are Is that number 31, 17 and 18? When your God was told, keep for your little girl. No, that's the one I heard. Right. 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 Number now, 17. You have no problem with women being killed. No problem. You said last time before, he's running away as well. You see? Another running away. Like, as a question. Adnan, where are Adnan? Adnan, let me speak. Adnan. 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 Adnan, where are you going? Adnan. Let's have a conversation. Let's have a conversation, Adnan. Is it true that you still feel that? Why you Let's talk about terrorism. Yeah, yeah. Adnan. about terrorism. Can we talk about terrorism? Can we talk about terrorism? That's the reason why you're going to hold your talk. Next right. week you're here, why are you running away, Adnan? Oh, when right you chase hey, Katie Hopkins, yeah. when you chase Hatton. You like to heckle women, Adnan. Stop heckling women, Adnan. <laughs> you must be lonely now. Adnan, stop heckling women. Stop heckling Katie Hopkins. <laughs> so clearly what we see, again, another insincere Muslim slowly getting <laughs> I his scripts right. getting picked apart and he ran away okay. because clearly he was playing dumb yep. we know that Shamsi lied and we just wanted to establish it he tried to come across as sincere <laughs> then when he clearly understood what we were saying he then tried to play dumb and saying <laughs> that the men slept with the woman before Moses said anything flip-flopping left right and centre yeah, yeah. and obviously the reason why I brought up the hadith about the the water with his prophet yes. is because clearly his prophet said that nothing makes water impure yeah. But then the scholars had to correct it and say if the colour changes, then, then it's unsuitable. So who did Muhammad get this from? Was it directly <laughs> from Allah? Because Allah seems not to understand simple, uh, you know, Hygiene. Uh, Hygiene exactly, <laughs> basic science. So basic clearly science, yeah. we see the hypocrisy of the, like so the right. Islamists in the in the park. Yeah. Shamsi with his lies, <laughs> and then all his uh, minions start laughing. They they don't even. 
listen to what he's actually saying they just laugh in response it's like a you know canned laughter or whatever you want to call it but clearly exactly they, but if anyone who is sincere is watching clearly Shamsi lied especially last week as well when he brought the uh, the bible verse about the pigs yeah, yeah. and he refuted himself trying to say this so this is why when you ask Shamsi to ask respond to things he then wants to ask you a question and then he runs away he's very insincere he tries to trap you because even as we see I said I was going to explain but they wanted the yes or no answer and then he could run away but we clearly saw from the incident where Moses had authority to declare what happened and God just said take vengeance on them so Moses had autonomy to deal with the situation as he pleased so we clearly see that Shamsi lied Shamsi and lie, a lot yeah. of them He's Muslims lie close. when they say oh, no, God crazy. commanded it. God didn't command it. God may have allowed it to happen based on Moses' discretion, but that wasn't the point that they made. They said God mm. instructed it. Instructed. And this is why when Muslims bring something, yeah. you have to read the verse and context. read the context because yes. it will normally go against what they say. So until next time. Thank you. Thank you.